welcome back to my channel i am so excited guys to be sharing with you another tutorial so if you are a new subscriber please don't forget to like this video okay subscribe to the channel as well and if you are returning subscriber thank you so much like we have um countless number of subscribers now though we are not there but i appreciate you guys so much okay so today i'll be making um a lace dress all right so this is the fabric that i have this is the lining all right it has a bit of stretch in it to work with so mind you anytime you get a stretchy fabric all right, all right you want to use a stretchy um lining okay you don't have a stretchy fabric and go and buy lining that does not stretch you're going to get a big pedal so make sure that you use lining that stretches a lot okay stretches just as much as the fabric and also the stones i'll be using the stones all right i have two of them it's at about um 20 or more yeah so uh i have this feather as well which i will be using to bring a bit of touch and class to the dress i'm about to make and this beautiful lace all right it is beaded it is um, um crystals have been added to this place and it is embroidered all right but it has a bit of tool and stretch in this okay okay so guys i'll be using this um tool as well all right it's brown and it matches well on the skin it doesn't really show much on my skin and my client is a bit brighter than i am so i feel that this will be okay i, I wanted a nude one and the nude one all right but i did get the nude one so i just like took this as an option like anytime i'm going fabric shopping i pick a color and pick an optional color so that you don't um, get stranded anytime you get there all right so you pick your color you write the color you want down and then in case you don't get that color an optional color that is going to blend very well with your fabric okay so i think this will be okay all right so these are the materials all right that i will be needing for my gown or dress sewing today so not forgetting our pattern all right so if you you haven't checked the pattern tutorial out the link is in the descriptive box below make sure that you check the pattern tutorial out so that you know how as to how i came about this patterns all right okay my name is Anne. if you don't know my name my name is Anne, and this is the Anne's world okay so don't forget to tap on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video okay guys so make sure that you like this video and also please subscribe to the channel subscription is free all right it's free it doesn't cost anything so make sure that you subscribe to the channel all right motivate your girl to do more okay. my personal page on instagram is uh, anidebra so don't forget to slide into my dm send me pictures of things you want me to make a tutorial on and i'll be so glad to make tutorial on those things for you guys okay so let's just jump straight into the tutorial okay so give this video a thumbs up like i said and please subscribe so guys this is the dress that we'll be making today and if you're curious about how i came about this dress then stay through to the end okay all right so i'll begin by cutting my fabrics so for the lining i am uh, i have folded six inches in from the bottom part because the lining is shorter than the main fabric as you can see so guys i'm adding a half an inch okay all the way to where i like i said i will be adding it to okay so as you can see the front panel and then the top panel all right to join my panels together okay so now it's time for the yoke and i use just half an inch okay i added just half an inch to the sewing allowance like i said you can add more than half an inch okay so for the zip area or for the back okay i'm going to be folding it in because 
I, I the fabric is too light and if I try to sew a zip on it will create bulginess that you don't want okay so you want to fold it in like that and then you cut okay so I've taken my zip allowance in and I've added my half inches to join it okay so I've already cut my main fabric as well and I'm cutting the main fabric for the bodice as well okay so make sure you transfer your notches it's very important okay this is the bottom part or that is the skirt okay this is one sleeve and this is the 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 half sleeve that i will be joining with this um long strip here all right and i'll be gathering this at the bottom of this side of the sleeve and these are the bodies the panels the the main fabric and the uh, lining fabric okay I cut so I cut two of each lining all right for the main bodies all right that is the back and then the front so guys because I cut two for each lining okay I'm going to be using one to baste the main fabric all right I hope you guys know what basting is if you don't know what basting is then I'm going to quickly show you soon okay so I'm matching the notches and I've pinned this really well and I'm going to begin by pasting this okay so I'm going to paste it all the way through my seam allowance okay because I'll be sewing using a half an inch okay so I'm going to baste using a half inch stitch allowance okay because I want to baste around the area where my machine will be passing through that is my zipper um my foot sorry my foot will be passing through okay and then i'm going to take off all the beads and the stones around that area okay so uh, you don't want the beads or the stones to get into your machine okay it's going to break your needle anyhow and it's going to destroy your machine all right so what you want to do is based around using a uh, 0 0.5 inch stitch allowance if you are using a quarter inch stitch allowance that means if you'll be stitching using a quarter inch what you need to do is you have to baste okay best uh, using a quarter inch stitch allowance there and then after basting you can go ahead and then take away all the stones all right around that area all right so that you'll be able to join your bodies and sew them without any problem trust me guys this takes a lot of time okay because the stones here and the beads i'm working with is a lot but it takes a lot of time all right so i'm going to be uh, taking my time and i'm going to be doing all this because if you don't take your time based and then remove the stones you are going to get a big head though because your needle is going to be breaking anyhow or you you will not be able to sew smoothly okay your machine will definitely get spoiled at this point if you don't do what i am doing okay but mind you if you don't, if you are using a, a a fabric okay that does not have um, beads in it well, you are good to go guys you're good to go okay so all you need to do is to base this well and then take out all the things or the stones that is going to cause havoc to your machine okay so that you'll be able to stitch smoothly so i'm going to be doing this all the way through and then all the six pieces is it six pieces no the back is um four piece and the front is three so all the seven pieces i'm going to be doing this for all the seven pieces all right so make sure that you match your notches okay match your notches and then hold your lining piece with the main fabric with your needle and then match the notches very well before you baste okay so guys as you can see i have held my um lining piece okay with my uh, 
main fabric for the front and then the back okay so guys after taking my stones i'm just going to align these okay like that and i'm going to sew and i'll do the same thing to this side and all the lining pieces and also the back panels okay so let me quickly go over this all right you guys after basting this okay as you can see i hold this down with my thread and my needle and when i i was done i went ahead to pin the side and i did the same thing to the dots of the other side and i'm taking down my one inches up until the side okay so the reason i am holding everything down right now is i don't want the beads okay to get in the way of my seam like lines all right so i pinned this down to remove some of the rhino stones and uh, beads that will get in my way so after pinning down my darts just when i had to remove all of the pins that uh, the beads and the rhinestone that are closer to my stitching line okay so i did the same thing for this side as well i have removed all the beads that are closer to my stitching line the beads and rhinestone that will worry me i've removed all of them okay so i've done the same thing to this side okay i've removed everything that will cause havoc to my machine okay so i'm going to be using a regular uh, machine foot to sew this down so i'll take in my darts and then i'll join this panel together leaving the zip line open and when i am done with this one i'll just uh, pick this one okay and i've already done the same thing all right i did the same thing just to remove the the beads and the rhinestone that gets in the way for stitching all right so i've done this as well and i'm going to sew the darts down all right so let's just uh, so i am done with uh, joining the front panels and then the back like that okay so i'll just go ahead and then press the seams open for the front and also for the back as well okay i've also joined the lining pieces as well and this is the back one as well okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to tackle my tool okay that is my yoke so i'm going to align this like that and i'm going to be sewing the shoulder i'm going to join by using a half inch stitch allowance okay and i'm going to do the same thing to the side like that so when i'm done okay i will just open it like that okay and then i'll stitch from this back neckline all the way to this back okay in lighter color and also i have changed the color of my tool guys i got a lighter color for the tool and i've changed it right now after stitching the neckline we're just going to go straight to attaching it to the back and then the front like that so i'm just going to quickly arrange this all right right sides facing each other and one inches away from the zipper area all right so i'm going to be stitching using a half inch like that okay so like that and i'm going to be doing the same thing to this side as well okay so, so facing each other i'm just going to make sure that they are lining and one inch away from the zipper area like that and i'm going to be stitching this as well so when i'm done i'll arrange the front panel and i'm going to do the same thing so i'm going to be matching this center to the center like that and i'm going to be sewing okay so you first of all you pin the center so after pinning the center just go ahead and match this to the sides like that and make sure that you've basted and you've removed any stitch that is going to be worrying you okay the um stone sorry that any stone that is going to create a header so i'm going to remove my stones and now i am done stitching uh, the thing and you can see that one inch it's one inch apart from the back and for the front this is how it looks okay it doesn't look straight but trust me it's straight because of the kind of fabric that i am using so it looks kind of um rough okay so this is it and then 
um, the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to be adding our lining to the so so guys the next thing is to sandwich our yoke in between um, the lining and then the main fabric okay so i'm going to be aligning this center front all right the center matching each other the uh, dots matching each other and also the side panel matching each other and i'm going to be sewing using a half inch stitch allowance all right all the way through and i'll do the same thing to the back panel as well okay so i'm going to stop here like that and i'm going to also align this side all right that's matching each other and i am going to be sewing and stopping right at the m hole area right i won't go all the way through but i'll stop here okay so i will align the same thing i'll do the same thing to the back panel i will align this with the lining for the back and i'm going to be sandwiching this in between and i'm going to be sewing so i'm going to be matching the uh, darts okay and i'm going to be sewing just like that all right so i'm going to be sewing using a half inch stitch allowance and i'm going to do the same thing to the other side of the back okay <laughs> So guys, here is how it looks. I have attached this and I went ahead to press this down, okay? And I've also attached the lining by basting, all right, to the main bodice, okay? So just like that, I have basted it, okay? Yeah, so this is just to hold it down, all right, so that it doesn't move around. So I've done the same thing to the back as well. So I've also gone ahead to fold in my zip allowance like that and I've ironed this alright so guys the next thing is to attach our sleeve to this bodice okay so I'm going to be aligning this I've already notched the center and I'm going to be matching the center to the um, shoulder seam like that and I'm going to match the side okay to the side like that and the reason i extended my sleeve allowance was because i wanted it to be able to match with the allowance of the bodice all right so that was why i extended my sleeve allowance and i'm going to be trimming the rest of later so i'm going to be attaching the other sleeve but because it's a three quarter sleeve i'm going to be working on that before I attach this so this is the sleeve like that and this is the material that I cut and I'm going to be ruffling this okay at the bottom of the sleeve all right so I'm going to be joining it by a half inch allowance before that I'm going to create a loose stitch around this area and I'm going to be pulling to create the ruffles that I want and I'm going to match it to the sleeve and I'm going to be adding my feathers Okay, because I'm going to be sandwiching the feathers in between this um, ruffles and the sleeve. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to align. I'm going to fold this in order to get a straight cut. Alright, so I'm just going to trim off the excesses that I have around that area. And after that, I'm going to take 8 inches of length. Alright, so I'm going to be cutting 8 inches of length for the sleeve gathering all right so after cutting this i am going to ruffle this and i'm going to join it to the sleeve like that okay so i'm going to be adding my feathers don't forget and after adding my feathers i am going to attach it to this side like so <music> So guys um here is what i was talking about so after attaching my feathers i made a top stitch on the ruffle so that it will stand like it is right now and i've also added the lace stream okay at the bottom of this to make it look nice and beautiful i didn't want it to look raw so i just added the trims like that and now i'm going to be attaching this notched part to the center of the shoulder like that okay so let's just go ahead and then begin attaching this okay 
Make sure that you align the notch part to the center of the sleeve and then join it to the rest. So this I am attaching to the right side and I'm going to attach the three quarter sleeve to the left side, okay? Guys, I have I am done attaching the sleeves and the next thing is to join the top to the down panel okay so I'm going to be aligning this right sides facing each other all right so I'm tackling the front first I'm going to be matching the line and um, I said lining I'm going to be attaching the dots like that and I'm going to be sewing using a half inch stitch allowance not forgetting that you need to baste and then remove all the the stones before you stitch all right so i'm aligning the back all right to the back bodies like that and i'm going to be sewing like that okay so guys i do the same thing to this side as well and as you can see i am done and i'm removing the thread that i used in basting this okay so guys i just want to quickly show you guys what i mean all right so when you baste all right you go ahead and then pick out the stones that gets in the way all right so these are so far the stones that i have picked out and some even spilled on the ground no they poured on the ground no they they scattered yeah it's not water so they scattered on the ground and I wasn't able to pick them because they were really small so the next thing is i'm going to be marking one inch and i'm going to be pinning this down because you know i need to remove all the stones that will get in my way all right when i'm stitching the zip allowance all right so i'm going to do that pin it all the way through and i'm going to be removing my stones and then after that i'm going to press this with an iron okay So guys, make sure that you take your time to remove the stones that will get in the way, okay? I pasted the zip line and I went ahead to press this down with my iron. So I'm just going to remove the basting like that. So as you can see, thank you. So I now have... Um, the line to use as a guide for my zip like so okay so, so zipper is neatly fixed right now right <laughs> so guys after fixing my zipper i'm going to align this very well and then start marking my horizontal measurements okay so once i'm done with marking the horizontal measurement i'll just go ahead and then mark my measurements in place that is my vertical measurement in place okay so after getting my uh, stitch line or my seam lines okay i'm going to baste okay and then I'm going to remove all the stones that will get in my way. All right. <music> So guys after marking the vertical measurement all right i'm going to be marking my seam allowance okay remember that the other three inches to 
the pattern drafting so i'm going to be sewing on a three inch stitch allowance okay so once i'm done i'm just going to mark all the way three inches all the way through and then i'll connect i'll join them okay it's because i want the sleeve okay to match the seam allowance of the bodies so i can run a straight stitch from the sleeve okay all the way to the side like that okay now we'll just go ahead and trim off the rest okay, okay. i'm just going to I'm going to show you guys how I apply the stones on this dress. So let's just move into that right now, okay? So just like that, I'm going to be applying my design, my stones on like that, okay? And a little bit on the waist side, I'll say. Yeah, so this is what we're doing today. So initially, I had wanted this to be a detailed tutorial, but I decided to substitute it into this uh, tutorial. Okay, so begin by drawing out your shape with the chalk like I have done. Okay, so once you're done, you just go ahead and then mark where the bead's going to stop on the center line and then use your glue gun whatever you have okay use your glue on the stones like that and then make sure that you press this and then it stays in place okay so just go ahead and then watch what i'm doing so i'm going to be following the line all right the line that i've drawn that is what i'm going to be following right now okay
I'm finally done. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next tutorial. If you haven't liked this video yet, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. The subscription is completely free guys. It is free. So please subscribe to the channel. Motivate your girl to do more. Alright, so guys, I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye bye. So guys, this is the finished look of the application of the beads and all. Okay, so guys, I'm going to see you in my next tutorial. Okay, have a nice day. Bye-bye.